everybody I hope you're having a nice day so today I'm gonna t talk you through show you my um, handmade top collection and oh my goodness I've never done this before where I've taken everything out of the wardrobe and sort of organized it and realized how crazy my handmade top collection is um, so I'm wearing the kimono I'm filming this when I'm still pregnant I'm not sure when you'll be seeing this but oh whilst I'm on my maternity leave um, so yes yeah, so I've got the kimono in honor of one handmade top with a H&M maternity top underneath so sorry that I'm not properly in handmade but it's quite late on in the pregnancy and I'm pretty uncomfortable so this is as, as kind of glam as I can get for this video. Okay so I'm just going to start from that side and talk you through them. Um, so here I should add by the way guys this is not my full collection because I have recently taken some extra clothes into sew over it so that there's many like different things they can rotate on the mannequins whilst I'm away so this is only <laughs> the majority of my collection so first things I've got two um, Susie blouses here um, this one um, we made I didn't actually make this this was made I don't know if it was made for the step by steps or whether it was just made as a promotional kind of one of the samples to promote it but it's with the longer sleeves and the contrasting cuff and it's got this really cute little foxes or cats in the rayon and then yeah contrasting collar and this is one I made and um, which if you follow my vlogs you will have seen it on one of the makes videos last year or the year before I can't remember but this is in a 1940s vintage fabric so it's really delicate fabric and I absolutely love this so Susie blouses um, wearing one kimono here's another kimono um, there is another one knocking around but I don't know where it is it must be in the shops um, I think so um, there is that and then down here I've got my silk camis and this is something that shocked me the most I did no idea how many silk camis I have let me show you them this one um, I can't remember if I showed you this on a vlog but I now have a matching wrap blouse to that sorry I call it the wrap blouse it's the Ella blouse was the wrap blouse so yeah I love that fabric um, then I've got one with little foxes on that we made because we were selling a kit of this last year um, this is in one of my favorite fabrics I've actually got a shift dress in this and also I've got a full circle skirt and I wear the silk cami with a full circle skirt and it looks like a dress love that I've then got it in a plain blush pink and the same fabric in a mint green although on the screen it's not looking mint green um, and I've got it in a black luxury crepe the luxury crepe makes up really nicely and then another crepe which is just a floral crepe but yeah I didn't realize how many I made I made last year but because they're quite quick to make up and I live in them in the summer and spring with little cardies I just kept making them so lots of silk camis okay um, let's go to here next because that's slightly less so this is my shirt collection so this is the first ever shirt that I made and I made it when I was in Italy I did a dressmaking and tailoring and pattern cutting course again it's quite bright so you can't see but it's like a nice pink that better back there and all the buttonholes are hand stitched but I put them the wrong way around they're not vertical they're horizontal um, and when I went into class she almost made me redo the whole shirt and I was like you can't make me do that I will wear it like this it's fine but yeah it's got a grown on um, collar stand um, and it's got proper cuffs as well it's just a classic shirt but yeah it took me ages to make this because I hand sewed the buttonholes and then I've got three Alex blouses um, Alex shirts rather so this one in a polka dot rayon love that with the black trousers I've got this one which I made to kind of I took that to America I've hardly worn this actually though because um, I guess I've hardly worn it because I haven't been able to um, yeah, I've hardly worn it because I was pregnant that's why so I wore it in America and then haven't worn it since and then this is from the book one of the samples that was actually in my capsule wardrobe city break um, in like a really light blue rayon all of these are rayons actually I haven't got it in cotton but yeah love those pop them back there 
And then I have definitely a shortened collection of uh, Anderson blouses, but I've got this one. If you remember, I wear this with my 1970s kind of flare trousers. It's got little cherries on it. Not cherries, little tulips. Um, but yeah, I love this. I think this is my favourite Anderson blouse. Then I have it in mustard. This fabric was so popular and I tried to get it back. Um, I actually got it, I had a supplier in Hong Kong that I used to um, get stuff direct from and I tried to get it again but I just couldn't, but anyway, I love this. And then this is what we call the bell blouse which basically was the start of the Anderson blouse but then we decided to change it. So this is often what happens when I'm designing something. Um, I worked with Julie um, to pattern cut this and we cut this on the bias and it really stretched and caused, well it didn't stretch but it just caused lots of gaping issues um, and it sort of fastens into like two little buttons there. It's so elegant, it's really lovely but you have to wear a cami underneath it so it just wasn't practical. But this is made out of sandwash silk which as you know, some of you who've followed me for a while, is my favourite fabric. Um, I absolutely love sandwash silk. So yeah, I still wear this even though it's not quite right. I can kind of pull it off in um, getting it tucked into my empire waist trousers. Right up here is my pussy bow blouse selection which I think, selection, collection, which I think you won't be surprised at um, that it is so immense and I can already see that there's quite a few missing here so I don't know where they are but I have I reckon about 10 pussy bow blouses. So um, this one I made last year out of a rayon. Love the colours of that, very springy. This one was a fabric that I got, I think from Fabrics Galore last year. Again, love that fabric and it ties at the top. Um, I do find that when they tie at the top, they kind of have a bit more of a sophisticated look. This is the first pussy bow blouse that I ever made. Um, again in sandwash silk and I've got it in this sandwash silk in coral as well which you may have seen me in. I don't know where that is though. Um, oh! I have this. I also have a pussy bow blouse in this fabric. Forgot about that. This also ties at the top. Um, yeah. I obviously put, when I got that fabric in, I obviously put a lot aside for myself. This is my a lovely blush pink sandwash silk pussy bow blouse as well. Love that. Another silk one, this was um, a silk that we had in stock in the shop uh, last year. Love wearing this in the winter because it goes with black but it's also just got such lovely colours to it. And this one, another rayon, um, just really pretty. Oh, yeah. Love the pussy bow blouse, clearly. What else? Up here. These are a bit of a mix of tops, so there's some shift dress tops here. And they're not all here, there's definitely again some missing, but this is just plain um, polka dot rayon one. This is um, another rayon one with, I put a seam across there just trying it out, but you can't really see the seam, so don't know how worthwhile that is. And this is a little sleeveless cropped one, um, which I wear a lot in the summer. I love this fabric, I got it from the cloth house. This is my cropped one in my cutout embroidery um, fabric, which you might remember from last year. And this is just a top that I drafted last year. I made a dress, I think, it's got grown on sleeves. I made a dress from it, um, and then I just made a top. It's just a lightweight kind of cornflower blue crepe. So some basic tops there. Um, on to these. I've got some stuff from Sew so Over at Vintage, so this is the 1950s Sailor Blouse, which is in sandwich silk. Um, this is the Anita Tie Top Blouse, but I didn't put a tie on it, so I just have it as like a loose drop waisted top. Sorry guys, the light's going because the sun's gone. And this is the Anita Tie Top that was in the book as well. Really pretty. And then down here, I've got some Ella blouses. So this is in a uh, crepe, really lovely um, beige kind of polka dot. This one is um, 
the sample that we made to promote the launch of the Ella blouse and I've realised now that I've got a matching silk cami so I might wear them together actually, that might be quite pretty. And this one is another one in a lovely lightweight cotton lawn. And this is the original one I made, oops, out of a grey rayon. I love this. So I'm really looking forward to getting those back in the wardrobe. Um, and up here are some of the maternity tops I made. Whoops, they're falling off. So this one, this one, ooh, can you see it's so bright? This one is in this really pretty crepe. Can you see it? Pretty crepe that we had, um, this fabric we bought for the knitting and stitching show and I've made this top to wear there and it's the shift dress hack but you can't really see it because it's so pale. Here's another shift dress hack which was in the cotton um, cut out black cotton embroidered fabric. Here's one of the molly tops that I made. Um, sorry that scratching noise is Poppy. Poppy, stop it, no. No! Um, this is my um, lovely, I can't remember, Sophia Petals this fabric was called. Um, and this is a lovely wrap um, top that I made, which is one of my patterns that I'm hoping to release. But it won't be till after maternity leave, or certainly at the end of the summer I think. Um, and then this was also the nursing top um, that I made very recently in my April makes. Ta-da, that is it. Gosh, now I didn't talk through all the sentimental value of all those clothes, but they all have a lot of sentimental value. Um, but it would have been here for ages if I did do that because there's just so many of them. But I hope that was quite interesting to see and that you could kind of get an idea for fabric choices for some of our patterns. Because um, I think that's what's always nice, having a look at someone else's collection of handmade clothes. You can kind of get inspired to, to make things out of a fabric maybe that you hadn't thought of. So I hope it's done that for you. And I am doing another video on my skirt collection. Um, so whether that's come before this or it's coming after, but I know that the guys will link to it if it's been already. But um, if it hasn't, keep an eye out for that one. I'll see you next time, guys. Bye.